Hi, everyone. This is uh, just a short explanation about the M wearables privacy analysis in MHA 647. Um, so the first thing I'm going to just mention is notice in bold here the due date, uh, which is actually a Monday. So today I'm just sharing this with you. It's tax day, April the 15th. I'm a little bit late in sharing it with you. So I'd like to give you a full seven days to do it. So it's due Monday, April 22nd. Again, I apologize for the delay, but um, it's a short assignment. I think one that you'll find very interesting and applicable. Um, so let me go through it. So you'll see right below this is just a, a website. Um, last year, 2023, <clears throat> digital healthcare, which is probably the most reputable trade magazine when it comes to healthcare devices, um, ranked its top 10 wearable devices. Um, what I'm going to ask you to do is choose one, any one that you like of the top 10 wearable devices for from the 2023 list. When you've chosen that one, your task is to research and summarize to the best of your ability, because um, you might not able to be might not be able to find everything in terms of the product site, especially as it relates to the device's healthcare privacy capacity, and of course any elements that you believe are missing. So it's a summary uh, of the wearable device's privacy capacity and any information that's missing um, as well. And so it's just a two slide voice thread PowerPoint presentation that you're creating, just two slides, but the audio can be as long as necessary. So I'd really like to hear your explanation uh, of the research and summary of this wearable device. Um, that's really the most important thing. So 20 points for that, five points for a clear presentation as well, due by Monday, April 22nd. Um, we, you know, th this connects obviously to the um, mobile wearable devices content, which is very quickly becoming um, an expansive area applied to healthcare. Consumers are making the choice. Uh, they're finding out information about themselves that was traditionally only uh, available at a doctor's visit um, or in the emergency department. Um, so it's an important topic. So let me know if you have any questions uh, and uh, looking forward to receiving your analysis. Thanks very much.